Now I got all this makeup around me. I can't even get up. Lord. Hey, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. This is your girl, Shimon Monet. And this video is going to be a end of the year makeup haul. So if you follow me on social media, which if you don't, you should. I already kind of gave you guys a heads up on Instagram that I did quite a bit of shopping <laughs> this holiday season, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and even some purchases that were made prior to those two humongous sales. I'm always looking for deals all of the time. Like I never want to pay full price unless it's like $5 and even still, I'll take a discount. So yes, got a few products to show you guys. Um, and I just want to say that I definitely filmed this tutorial like two or three days ago. And as I was going through it to edit it, I realized that, y'all, I needed a fill. And I couldn't stop looking at my nails <laughs> and how bad I needed a refill. So this is actually my second time filming this tutorial. Not this tutorial. This is my second time filming this video for you guys. So I hope that you like it. <laughs> And let's get started. So I'll probably end up like using some pictures and clips from the old footage that I took originally. Hopefully I can still use a little bit of it because I actually wasn't in the video at all. Like I was showing you guys everything and was literally unboxing the packages. But yeah, my nails weren't, they weren't camera ready. <laughs> so let's see what I got. I'm gonna start with NYX. And I didn't go too crazy with NYX. I really was just stocking up on some favorites of mine. So I got two liquid illuminators. This is pure gold. This is sun goddess. I love these um, underneath foundations to mix in with foundations if I'm super busy and I just want my skin to look dewy, but I'm not actually wearing foundation. I'll put those on. This is their Skin Elixir Primer that I used to always use and I ran out. I wanna say it's like $14 a bottle typically. So sometimes if I run out, $14 to me is expensive, y'all. So <laughs> I don't be racing to refill it, but I do like tea tree and I do like this product. So these were at least like 50% off. They might've been like seven or $6 each. I don't remember, but I know it was a good sale because I got two of them. So, yep. I got a pore filler. This is the mini version. I've never tried NYX's pore filler. I typically use Maybelline Baby Skin or the Pore Professionals. So I figured I'd give this a try. It's a lot cheaper than Professionals. It's about the same price, I believe, as the Baby Skin. But I like trying out new products, so I grabbed that. Then I also just got two jumbo pencils. One in milk, which is white, and another in black. These are good bases to have for eyeshadow looks. So that's what I got from NYX. Okay. Moving on, let's do BH Cosmetics. So I literally have like everything in a box next to me. <laughs> a big box next to me. And I tried to organize this a little bit better. So BH Cosmetics, I got their BH Studio Pro Black um, Waterproof Gel Liner. I love eyeliners and I'm trying to get accustomed to using more gel liners. So the Juvia's Place one, I love. So I wanted to give this a try. I've heard that the Inglot one is like the best. I think it's like Inglot 77. I don't know if that's the brush or if that's the gel liner, but eventually I'm gonna try the Inglot one just off of principle, like it's the best. But for now, I'm gonna try out the BH Cosmetics gel liner. I also picked up their Studio Brow Palette. And this is what it's looking like. There are four waxes at the bottom and eight powders at the top, just so I can have some variety um, in eyebrow selections. <laughs> and I also got their highlighting palette, the Spotlight Highlight Six Color Palette, because I feel like you can never have too much highlighter. So let's open that up. Oh, let's not hurt you guys I I hope you guys can see that if not I'll have to like stick in um, a clip or something but six ginormous eyeshadows not eyeshadows highlighters <laughs> and then I also got their nude lips 28 color lipstick palette 
I realized I didn't have like a lip palette. I have a lot of lipsticks and a lot of, yeah, lipsticks and lip glosses, but I didn't have a palette. So the reviews were pretty good for this online. And of course, everything was on sale. So I figured I would give these products a try. So next up, I only grabbed two things from Anastasia, one of which I actually tried for the first time. Was it yesterday or this morning? I think yesterday. It's their eyeliner, their brush 7B dual ended angled brush. I use it for um, my eyebrows, so the spoolie on one end and a very short, bl like blunt ended um, angled brush. So whenever I see like Anastasia or whomever is running the account reposting images of like the eyebrow tutorials, everybody's always using this brush and I always love how well defined, especially the hairs in the front look. So I got the brush and then I also finally <laughs> got the glow kit, the sun dipped glow kit. I feel like this one is like a classic, but I just was waiting for it to go on sale because it retails for 40. I don't even remember what I paid for it, but it was at least like not 40. <laughs> and it's so beautiful. Like I swatched them just once. I haven't even used it yet, but it's so pretty. And I know, I know, I know I'm late, but this was a treat to myself. Again, cause I love highlighters. <laughs> so moving on, I don't know if you guys are familiar with um, another, YouTube, another YouTuber. Her name is Destiny Lachey but i will tag her information so you can see it definitely check her out follow her she's amazing but i don't know how recent it is but i recently noticed that she launched a lash line and i always love how like beautiful her lashes look so i grabbed a pair of her lashes they are called lache lashes they are 100 percent natural mint lashes and i will take them out so you guys can see them they're super wispy and they're so pretty and they feel so, 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 so soft. So I wanted to support her. So I grabbed a pair of those lashes. All right, so moving right along. So the next company that I definitely wanted to support is um a black owned company and it is called the crayon case um i've mentioned it before the highlighter that i'm actually wearing today i previously bought and it was my first product and i fell in love with it um it's this anglola highlighter so that's what i have on right now it's the bomb so after trying that everything was good shipping was good cost was good i didn't have any issues I said, okay, let me try a couple other products. So she came out with the cutest little beauty blenders. I believe she calls them crayon cuties. They're so cute. I haven't even opened them. They, like I can feel how soft they are through the paper, but let me just open one for the sake of this video. So I can really feel it. Yeah, it's super soft. It has like this, I can kind of feel like a ring on the inside, but that doesn't bother me. It's soft, it's very bendable and squishy. So that's cool, so. And they're crazy affordable. Like, I feel like these are like two or three dollars a pop. Like, you really can't beat that. And they're super cute. So I got three of them. And since buying them, she's actually come out with all black. All black ones as well. And I think they're a little bit bigger. So I'll probably end up grabbing some of those as well. I also got her, she has, um, I wanna say six shades of eyebrow pomade. I grabbed one, this is the darkest shade, it's ebony. And honestly, like when I was on the Anastasia website, to this day, I've still never tried Anastasia's brow pomade because I'm just like, my NYX that I use is $7, like it's waterproof, it's much proof. And then even the sale, I was like, huh? it's not like on sale that much 
it was still like 17 or it was like 20 percent off so it was still like 18 dollars for it and i was just like you know what if i'm gonna try a brow gel i'm gonna support an independent black owned business and i'm gonna try hers so that was my rationale behind it honestly because i do love my nicks but there's nothing wrong with having you know options so grabbed it in the shade ebony i haven't tried it out yet but don't worry i'll be testing it out real soon and i believe it came with this brush because i didn't order didn't order the brush i actually on a previous order ordered the one that's up on the website and it's brown and it says the crayon case this one i ordered with the um highlighter but this came with this order and it's black so i'm thinking that when you get a brow gel it must come with the spoolie either it was a mistake but if not i think that's cool that it just comes with it so that was cool and then she has um, a contour palette. She calls it the Contour Resistant Notebook. And I also just love like the packaging, the whole theme of the crayon and like school supplies. I think it's really dope. It's it's creative. Um, she recently redid her website. It looks amazing. Like it wasn't bad before, but it looks amazing now. Um, and again, the whole theme, everything, even the card that came with the package. Like I love packaging, y'all. <laughs> And I like for everything to just be professional and nice. And it, and it is. It was. It is. So I will continue to support. This is the back. But yeah, everything is just, everything is super cute. So let me show you how to palette. So I will say when I took it off the box, I was like, oh, it's a little small. Like it's, let me give it a size comparison to um, the BH, not BH, Black Radiance Contour Palette, which is three if you're not familiar i use this all the time it's honestly oh no it's crazy it's the exact same size it's the is it matter of fact it's a tiny bit bigger this is the contour contour resist notebook and this is bh so it's black radiant so it's actually a little bit bigger than what i typically use um but compact is good like that means it's easy to travel with so that's cool because like compared to the BH Cosmetics one, which has more shades, but it's it's really big. It's about what almost a little more than half of that, and even compared to like Anastasia's um, contour palette, it's a bit smaller. So it's actually not a bad size, but I don't know. I like. I just wasn't sure how big it was going to be. And then I was like, oh, it's it's real cute. It's cute and compact. So I'm talking too much. Let's open it and look at it. So four darker contour shades. And then up here are like two really pretty highlighters. This is Pink Me, which is, it has a very strong pink undertone. And this is Trophy, which is very good. And honestly, they almost remind me of pressed versions of Anglola. And then she has another rose. I think it's called Rosie. She has a pink highlighter um, that's that's like this, a powder on her site. These almost remind me of pressed versions of it. So that's really cool. Um, four powders, a nice shade range. Oh, no, I'm stabbing it. I'm messing up the color, y'all. And then two um, highlighters. That's cool. So that's that that I got from the crayon case. Moving right along, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so now it's time to move on to foundations. So, for foundations, I grabbed two more colors in the AJ Crimson cream foundation i grabbed four and eight and i haven't even opened them yet but i already have i want to say four and a half i have four and a half and seven and these two combined make like my perfect they match me when i combine them this is not quite bright enough to highlight weight 
to highlight with. And then this by itself is a very natural contour. So I wanted to go one shade up and a shade darker. So that's what I did. So let me pop these over them real quick so y'all can see what they look like side by side. And this is another independent um, company, black owned by AJ Crimson. So it you can buy like this whole artist kit and his sale is phenomenal. I just didn't need the whole kit at this time. So I just grabbed two more refills to add to my palette. They are magnetic. But they're packaged super tight. Like super tight. <laughs> there we go. And they're magnetic. Oh, I didn't even show you guys. I'll show you with the next one. And this number eight, I believe, is his deepest, the deepest shade. Oh yeah, that baby is dark. I honestly, I don't even think I realized it was this dark, but I love it. Like I, y'all don't understand. When there are, there are melanin comes in so many different shades. Oh, see, I see how deep that is. That's how rich that is. Oh, I have to swatch this right now. Let's swatch this. Woo! Do y'all see how deep that is? Clearly, I can contour with that. Clearly. Oh, I'm supposed to be showing y'all how easy it is to pop it in. Okay, let me pop it back out. Oh, and on the back, they are numbered. Um, so you know which number it is. So this is the palette. It's magnetic. Boop, clips right in. So now I have four, four and a half, seven, and eight, which I just swatched. That is so rich, y'all. And it just blend like do y'all see? <laughs> it's just blending out. Amazing. So I'm probably gonna do an updated full face now that I I definitely have like a highlight shade, contour, everything. So stay tuned for that. Whoopsie daisy. So that was one foundation that I got. The next one, another independent black owned company, Danessa Myricks. If you all are not familiar with her, do yourself a favor. Go to her Instagram page right now and check her out. Because when I say she is amazing, absolutely amazing, she's the bomb.com. Just gonna say that she's the bomb.com. She came out with her foundation. I wanna say there's like 20. I'll tag, I'll put up on the screen how many shades there are, but it's a very nice range. They're supposed to be extremely, extremely, extremely pigmented and full coverage. Like the tiniest bit will go a long way. So it's called Vision Cream Cover. I have not even opened this either. So let's open it. So this is the packaging. Very slick. Let me see. I might as well swatch it because honestly, I'm not even sure if this is my shade. I really hope it is. I got W06 and I was online and on Instagram and on YouTube trying to find somebody that I know typically is my shade to, to swatch. I don't even know if you're supposed to shake this. I'm just going to shake it just because I feel like you typically would shake a foundation. I'm going to swatch it. I'm praying that it works. All right. So, boom. Little pump. And I don't want to go crazy because I don't want to waste it. All right, I can hear it now. <laughs> All right, so that's a tiny bit. 
and ooh, it feels like a dream. Oh, sucky, sucky. Like, do y'all see how how like much? <laughs> can't even talk. The amount that's on my finger and the amount that's on my hand, but like how rich the color is. Hmm. I'm going to have to come back and try this. I think it can work. I know you're not supposed to use your hand. And I already have foundation on. I'll have to do a video on this as well. Now I have to get this off. But I'm thinking I should be able to work with this. I should be able to work with this shade. Yeah. I should definitely get to work with this. Yay! All right, now to get this off. <laughs> so I don't mess everything else up. But yeah, I, I've been eyeballing that forever. And again, I'm super cheap, y'all. Like, I think it retails for $28 a bottle. That's why I was about to say $28 before. $28 a bottle was like the typical retail price, which isn't bad, honestly, at all. Because like my Clinique foundation cost $28 a bottle. <laughs> and I was about to order, I was about to try the new, um, like even better glow foundation by Clinique. And then I was like, you know what? No. If I'm going to spend $20 on a foundation, I'm going to go and I'm going to get that Danessa Myricks foundation that I've been eyeballing for months. And it was like 20% off. So I saved, you know, a couple of dollars. And I supported a woman with some melanin and her own business. <laughs> so stay tuned for a video on this as well. Bless you, babe. So... I'll show you guys a clip from the other video that I took because it was real cute and laid out. But I bought one more foundation. Well, one more brand of foundation, but I definitely did just buy one. Why do I have so many black opal sticks? <laughs> I bought foundations from black opal. And I pretty much got just about the whole, the whole, the whole line. <laughs> Three, six, nine, twelve. So I bought ten. Two I already had um, before, but they weren't my shade. So yeah. So I am slowly but surely building up my kit, and I will be doing clients soon like I always get asked to do makeup and part of my hesitation wasn't that I couldn't do the makeup <laughs> it was that I know I didn't have like I didn't have everything that I would need um but over the past year I've been forcing myself and pushing myself so yes this is one of those goals this is one of those things where I'm just pushing myself and going with it <laughs> so i said well if i'm gonna start taking clients and if i'm gonna start doing makeup then i need to have a, like a foundation in my kit now mind you i do have foundations um and i have a decent shade range that ha actually has been working between maybelline fit me and l'oreal true match i have you know i have some foundation <laughs> but and i'm laughing because my friends are always like Sis, you're a makeup artist. Like, I've been running from that title for, like, two years. You're like, sis, you're you're a makeup artist. You you are. You you have everything that you need. I don't know what you mean. You don't have it. You, you do. <laughs> so that's why I'm cracking up. But I wanted to know that I know that I know that I have a nice wide range of shades, a bomb foundation. So... I decided to go with Black Opal 6. They're full coverage. They're just amazing. <laughs> so I have those. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to depot them. So I actually got 
these MAC palettes, the Pro palette, and I'm going to melt them down. So I'm going to create my own 12 color um, foundation palette. So this is something else I got. And I also got the 24 insert because I bought a lip palette, but I also want to make my own as well with some other lipsticks. But I'll just open this to show you guys what it's looking like. So this is just the empty MAC palette. And then hopefully, like li literally, like I need to depot these. <laughs> and I finally have some time on my hands. So and this is the insert. So this will go inside of here and I'll be able to see all my foundations and it's going to be so beautiful. Like literally, I can't wait to do this. I've never done it. I've done my homework. I've done my research. I have everything I need. So stay tuned. I probably, I haven't, I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to do, I'm going to film it. I probably won't film it. I might just take like little snippet videos and more than likely it's going to be up on Instagram. So be looking out for that. And y'all, we are almost done with this whole video. I'm sorry. I bought a little mic. So y'all probably getting all of this feedback. And it's probably crazy loud. I apologize. I have to get used to this mic. I'm just trying to do better. Honestly, just a little random pause talk, chit chat moment. I've been doing YouTube this January 2018 will make two years that I've been doing YouTube. And it's been a journey for me. It's definitely been fun. I've learned a lot just as far as products and makeup application and lighting and everything else editing i've learned all of that over the past couple of years so again goals just trying to better myself i'm like well if i'm gonna keep doing youtube i need to step it up a bit so y'all may have noticed i got a little backdrop it's literally just some some material that i got from hobby lobby i got the cheapest white <laughs> that i could find grabbed two yards of it it's 3.99 a yard ironed it and popped it up um, I got myself a ring light. I didn't film it, but that was another thing that I bought for part of the haul. I bought a newer ring light, um, a 14 inch, because I want to be able to have better lighting. I already had two box lights, which were cool, but they always like would cast shadows and I could never really get it right. So now I have, I guess, the three point light and set up and I'm loving it. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys can see everything better. Let me know like if y'all feeling this lighting because <laughs> I certainly am. But yeah, I just wanted to, you know, take it up a notch. So the ring light was definitely a big move for me because I've been looking at a ring light for like well over a year. And I just was like, well, no, I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. Like I like to be practical about certain things. So now I'm just like, okay, well, I'm still doing YouTube and now I'm about to start having clients. I was like, so I'm getting this ring light because it's going to serve multiple purposes. YouTube, the lighting will be better. For clients, the lighting will be dope. Photos for myself and for them and videos as well will be dope. So this haul, the majority of these products really weren't for me per se. Like a couple of things are definitely just for me, but a lot of it was to build my kit because I like to be prepared. Um, my kind of my makeup journey, it's been about four years that I've really been like I like makeup turning into I love makeup now about to turn into yeah I do makeup so I'm excited and I didn't mean to talk this much in this video but it's been a while since I posted a video um I have over 200 subscribers which I know probably sounds like nothing to somebody else but to me that's everything thank you guys so much that have subscribed even for those of you who aren't subscribed but you watch my videos and you share them and you like them thank you so much i really 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 appreciate it um so yeah i'm just taking a couple of minutes like to talk to you guys because i haven't posted a video in forever because i was busy with school but now that i'm on winter break i've got some time but i want to wrap it up i don't want this to get too long so again i'll probably show y'all a clip from when i first filmed this but the last thing that I have, 
I'm just kind of gonna kind of gonna show y'all the box because <laughs> that'll probably be easier a whole bunch of brushes from elf so I love their little exfoliator sticks so I always stack up on these so I grabbed a whole bunch of the exfoliator sticks. It's winter time, so I like to get Mint Mania. In the summertime, I like to use the coconut ones. But let's just see if I could show y'all like one of each that I got. All right. So I got some contour brushes. I like this for the nose, honestly. I only use this on the nose. And it says contour brush, but that's why I use it for the contour my nose. I got crease brushes. They're flat eyeshadow C brushes. Love this brush. Flawless face brush. Sculpting brushes. Pointed, pointed powder brushes. Ultimate blending brush. Small precision brush. This is like perfect for the inner tear duct area. Perfect. I think those are all of the brushes. Yeah, and I just ordered like multiples of them. <laughs> so, yeah, again, building up my kit mainly was the purpose for this, this haul. And also to get some goodies for myself to try out new products. And yeah. Alright, so if you guys are familiar with my channel, then you guys already know that I'm absolutely obsessed in love with Juvia's Place. So, I snagged these four palettes. It wasn't even during the Black Friday or Cyber Monday. It's actually on the Christmas sale. I don't know if it's still going on, but they were having a Christmas sale. That was bomb. I feel like honestly, I think that sell the bundles that they had because these two, the blush palettes were a bundle. They normally retail for I don't even want to start lying and saying the wrong numbers because I honestly don't remember, but I just know that it was a still. Everything was a still. Everything was a huge still, deal, bargain, whatever you want to call it. The sale was fab. So I picked these up to be solely in my kit. All of the shadows and even the blushes. The blushes double as shadows. A lot of them could be highlighters, contour shades as well. They're so multifaceted. The Nubian is a classic for all neutrals. The Masquerade has a nice range of colors. And again, y'all know their pigmentation is bomb. So I wasn't going to get it because I have all of these palettes. But then I'm like, I'm building my kit. I need to get stuff while it's on sale. So that's what I did. So that's going to wrap up this whole video. I definitely hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, if it was too long for you, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I'll see if I can list like the brands and the times at the bottom for those of you that may want to skip around and just see specifically what I got. And certainly I'll have a list of everything listed down below. But um, yeah, that's going to wrap up this tutorial. Liked it. Give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you want to try. Let me know what you got. And until next time, guys, be blessed. Bye.